Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've been monitoring the situation with Resident Evil 8 over the last basically five days since it's come out. It came out and people took, you know, between five and ten hours to get through their first playthrough. If you're like me, I really wanted to savor it. I wanted to find all the side stuff. I got as much, you know, room clears as I could. It took me like nine and a half hours to beat it. If you kind of rushed through the game, if you played on a lower difficulty, you got through in, you know, like five, six, seven hours, something in there. But ladies and gentlemen... The time for that is done. People have beaten Resident Evil 8, and now it is starting to become a speed runner's paradise. I think this game is going to have a whole 30 minutes knocked off of this time when glitches, when skips, and when different kind of like out-of-bounds breaches are starting to be found in this game. But for the moment, the things that have happened so far are fascinating. Right now, what we're reacting to today is the ca casual difficulty speed run, actual world record, no new game plus one hour 37 minutes the crazy thing about this run is that he did not do a new game plus and i'll explain that while that's important in just a second but real quick before we get started orchalon or orclon I, I don't know how to pronounce it i'm so sorry hopefully he says it in here his channel will be down below in the description as well as his twitch channel make sure y'all go give some support to him he gave me permission to react to this absolute legend but basically i'll show you guys what i'm talking about right here what makes this speed run so significant is that he's playing obviously on well, casual i mean it's a it's a speed run it's not a village of shadows difficulty speed run it's basically just like the easiest difficulty speed run five pump did not break the wall which is which is what you you know you're supposed to do in a speed run you're playing it on the any percent but what makes this so incredibly interesting is that he has the world record over people who are using glitches and you know the, the the cheat codes that are built into the game it's not cheating i mean it's literally the cheat codes that are built into the game to give you like all the best weapons off the start and infinite ammo for this we those weapons he has beat that time on a normal first playthrough he's not using any of the glitches any of the cheats new it's just straight up no new game plus which is incredible he's playing through the game as you would yeah, if you just picked it up and you started playing it your first playthrough could look as fast as his does um obviously there's going to be a lot of cutscene skips and a lot of jumping around so if you haven't seen the game yet i strongly recommend going to watch my playthrough on my main channel noah j456 it was um, literally no game of the year for me no restart challenge no restart challenge oh dude this the creepiest part about this is that that is actually mother miranda right there standing in front of you it's actually so scary <laughs> um but anyway I, I i just thought it was so interesting that someone could literally beat this also you, you put your baby to bed and then Christmas you teleport onwards. out into the tundra <laughs> um i i just think it's so interesting the speed at which in which he's done this i'm excited to see the tricks that he uses and because i mean he's gonna start out with default weapons and he's beating people who are spawning with infinite ammo ars that you know you get with chris at the very end of the game it's gonna be super super interesting let's go ahead and turn this volume up a little bit as well this is a little <laughs> okay quiet let's get that boosty boost beautiful we got it we got to be ready for the jump scares dude I, I remember the very start of the game was actually pretty scary it was actually pretty terrifying i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i was not a fan of the first you know the, the the first like 20 minutes of the game was pretty scary and then the uh what's it called the dollhouse was literally terrifying i guess that's not a cutscene you can skip oh yes the first of many cuts and things being sliced off that <laughs> our boy ethan has in this playthrough um but stuff like this stuff, this little intro here i'm expecting one day to see a fully skippable intro i I'm, I'm fully fully expecting to see a ton of different skips and things figured out in this game just this is basically like the fastest you can play it given just you know uh, one the known one stuff nine. so far which i'm really excited for so if you guys are interested and eventually if this gets like 20 30 minutes cut off of it because i really think it will uh i'll probably come back and revisit this game as a you know something to watch because holy crap <laughs> it's it's such a good game man it really is game of the year for me and i really really did enjoy it speedrunners are gonna literally hate the first like four minutes of this game because it's literally just walking <laughs> this has got to be the worst part of the run there's no skill involved there's literally just walking that's it uh-huh good 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 dude this dude the, the game looks so much better when you're playing it yourself too 
Like, it really does look so much better when you're playing it yourself. Also, I didn't notice that little moose head on my playthrough. <laughs> there was that little moose head just, like, out on the wall. Yeah, because you don't even get your... You don't even get a gun until you find the old man. <laughs> and then you go back and... Yeah. You hear the, uh... You hear the lichens for the first time outside your house. The deer head has been knocked down the stairs. Oh yeah, literally, literally terrifying. <laughs> like actually terrifying. Given this game was not as like, this game was not as scary as Resident Evil 7, but I I really preferred the, uh, the amount of action that they had in it. It was so, so good, man. So good. Dude, all this. Yeah, let, 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 let's see how much the uh, the walking section is. Like, I'm sure eventually there will be a way to, like, breach through the wall or something. A tall woman. <laughs> what? <laughs> the, the second sentence he says in the entire playthrough. A tall woman. <laughs> oh, now you can sprint now. Oh, this is amazing. Look at the pace! Look at the pace, dude! Hey, did he? he? So he forgot his splits for this first two. We don't actually know his splits. So attack, I guess, is whenever you get the cutscene with the old man. Dude, this is, this is straight up... We did this for the last one. It's like trying to remember the storyline, but what without happened? any cutscenes. Just all gameplay. I'm excited <laughs> to see how fast... Like, how the... Like, how he manages to actually get through the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, Heisenberg factory so fast. Because I feel like that, that part took, took me forever. He got a knife, and he's going to go ahead and check this little thing. He's going to skip the cutscene of the dude getting attacked. Uh, he has to skip that cutscene. And then he's already being, oh, and then he gets attacked by, <laughs> did he, did he do the, uh, oh, he literally just ran past that dude. It's a literally called the Resident Evil Village song. Yeah, it's a fan song. What? Wait, this song right now? Can you right post now? a link in chat? Bro, that looks so weird when you just sprint through Bad it. Because the body slowly gets dragged away. You oh, open the door as the body is being dragged away. Okay, so this is where you get attacked by everything. He's grabbing all the ammo. See, this is the part that's, that, that's making me, you know... I mean, obviously he's playing on casual. Obviously, he's playing on casual, but um, this is the like this is the part where I'm just like, if you start the game with a oh yeah, his hand already has already been bitten off. I forgot about that. There's just gonna be a lot of things that change randomly. So he's gonna activate every uh, creature, run into this building. So I, I guess there's um, really I, not much you can do here. Is Killing the that one wolf that gets in. Oh, the trigger is killing that one wolf who gets in. Oh, I see. Okay. He gets the shotgun. Some handgun ammo. Dude, it's just like I, I don't understand. He he must be literally the best player in the world, beating people who literally like beating people who literally have infinite ammo ARs. I'm so excited because he's like two full minutes faster than the second place world record right now who who used all these glitches and stuff. So let's a few, a few of them get in. Dude, speedrunners are going to hate the first and 10 minutes of this game. There's no end to them. Yeah, I think this one is just a time-based trigger. I think this That's one is amazing. straight up just time-based. So he has to, he has to like be attacked, and then I think they go away so after a while. So does Lady Damage Risk uh, get rid of the debate on whether or not men prefer taller women or shorter women? Because <laughs> I've never gone, I've never seen the entire internet go crazy for a short woman. <laughs> I mean, you know, it brings up a good point here. So is this just you have to survive for a certain amount of time? 
I think, I think this is literally just you have to survive for a certain amount of time. That's straight up all it is. <laughs> One single knife. Yeah, these guys aren't really scary because you know you're playing on casual. I didn't know there was a little stab mechanism there. That's kind of cool. Oh, he pauses. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's re-timed, but eight second loss. This run sucks. Start the run over. Bro, he, he literally just doesn't care. No, it's supposed to be Cassandra. I'm supposed to split when I meet Cassandra. And I didn't make a Bella split because the wine bottle is like two seconds after it. Oh, the big guy has already jumped down. But I, but I always forget Cassandra. I forgot the big guy already comes down and then you're just screwed. I think it's literally just surviving. He, he really doesn't seem like he's trying to do anything except for just like, you know, waiting for this, this section of the game to be over. Bro, you fight like three different versions of the big Lycan. Dude, oh my god. Cash will be pretty easy, huh? Casual really do be pretty easy. Submit. Bella is the blonde. But she says I can't believe Cassandra caused all of this mess. He's shooting boxes as well. Oh, it's triggering me. It, it's triggering me how... <laughs> <laughs> like like how much faster this run is apparently than all of the other speedrunners. Right, I'm gonna lose some time, but it's because I paused. Because he paused, yeah. You big silly goose. Okay, right, yeah. So so eventually you get shot in the leg. So that's just time based. Literally, literally nothing you can do to speed that up. Skip the cutscene oh, with the old here. woman. Old woman goes back through the gate, locks it for like literally the entire rest of the game, which is really frustrating. When it takes so long, oh, the for goat's the already gone. Is the uh, so is the goat? The goat's not singular run based because that goat was already gone. I suspect an interest kid won't right, really we go. like help. Here we go. Now we get into the actual meat and potatoes of this run. At the beginning of the run. Oh, you could just shoot the fence down. I never knew that. <laughs> All right, so he needs to, he has the first crest. He needs to go ahead and get in here, talk to her, skip the cutscene. That's a manual for now. Bro, this, this is the thing that I had the world record for, for like, I mean, I mean, I'm sure people beat me. I had the world record for this for like a few minutes, which was, which was just, you know, skipping through this in the demo, <laughs> just this specific part. And then this part, there's nothing you can really do. You just have to wait. It's time-based. Dude, I, I really do think the beginning of this game, speedrunners are just going to hate. Because it's, I, I mean, it really is well, just we'll like have, we'll 11 minutes. Right now we're on 12 on minutes. I'm just like time-based triggers. This way. That long of just time-based triggers. Okay, wait for it. And as soon as he, as soon as he loses his hands, he, he knows he can skip the cut. Wait, what was that? Did he do a challenge thing? Overachiever. Oh, he he, he messed up. He, he paused a little bit too soon. I'm not. He paused a tiny bit too soon. Examine it. Get the screwdriver out. Yes, sir. Then he needs to skip this know. car cutscene. working hard on it. I know that you can beat all of this in like two minutes because that's what I did. They're working as fast as they can. I know. This entire section. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> wow, that was a fast cutscene trigger. I just don't get it. You can just sprint past all that. I think he I think he's definitely beaten my time by this point. I think he's definitely beaten my time by this point. He needs to use the screwdriver. Grab the maiden crest or the uh the demon crest rather. Oh yeah, and then that's where you see Mother Miranda for the first time. The bell tolls for us all. 
Dude, shooting down that fence is a big time save, actually. I'm gonna go talk to the old woman again. Dude, that, that's when you should know right there that Mother Miranda is the old woman. That's when you should know. Because Mother Miranda was right there. I guess, I mean, she can't teleport and stuff, but... Beautiful, beautiful lock-in of the crest. All right. Time to go to Lady D's that's castle. Not Grandma. That's Miranda. Nothing but blood and death. Yeah. That, dude, that's so weird. You see Mother Miranda, like, throughout the entire oh, playthrough, but you don't realize it's her till the end. The opposite. It's actually insane. Actually insane. 1039 has already been gotten. Oh, oh yeah, that, that's where that's where the metal bender guy, Mr. Heisenberg. No 130. There would need to be really big skips. I don't think that's possible with just all Oh, the doll. Oh my god, I forgot you see the doll at the very beginning. I forgot you see the doll. Mm. Run for your life. Dude, I, I, like, I would love to see this guy with all of the infinite ammo stuff. Like, why is, what, like, what makes him so much faster Very than all the nice. infinite ammo people? <laughs> Very nice, Ethan. Skip the cutscene. Pick through that. And then he has to survive the big roller thing. This was where my first death in my playthrough was, up here. So, dude, it's so fast. Oh, you didn't think I'd let you get away, did you? Daughter and Moreau entertain. So now it's time for the beautiful, the blood soaked grand. Finale. You know, Heisenberg say, says, gotta keep Donna and Moreau entertained. Does that mean Lady D left? <laughs> that line. Nothing like fresh American ground beef. <laughs> Wait, okay. Those freaks have Rose? Dude, oh, this game is just so good. This game is just so good. Have fun storming the castle. I love the cutscene. Oh, I need to do another play story playthrough because I think I've already forgotten a lot of it. Dude, every single time I see one of these little things, I'm just like, oh, there goes your hand. But it's not till later. It's not till later. After I think after you've killed like two of her daughters, two out of the three, that's when. That's when it happens. I was really scared of this part. Something was going to attack me. I was really, really nervous. <laughs> run, run, run. Okay. And then this is where you talk to Duke for the first time. It takes. A, I guess it takes a second before you can skip. That. I think that was him spamming the That's escape a button. Sandwich. And, uh... Yeah, part, part that of... That was too close. Part of me... Almost a Jill sandwich. Part of me wishes that I played this on PC, so if I ever wanted to speedrun this game, I could do it on PC, because obviously, like, you, have, you can have better aim and stuff. I think part of the fun, though, is, like, on controller, aiming is really hard, and that's part of the fun, I think. Part of the fun is, like, feeling a little useless. Oh, yeah, this is where you get swept away. And you're now hung up by your hands. What am I thoughts of the bug if you stutter? Ah! My gut instinct says it's something that can be easily fixed. Because there's nothing intensive happening, ah! happening there that should cause any lag. Uh, like, okay, if I had to guess, I'd say it's some kind of shader compilation delay. It's because okay. on, on DirectX 12, shaders are take longer to compile than they used to. Which is why some DirectX 12 games are prone to stuttering, and since this game is DirectX 12 only now, it's uh, lagging because it needs to render, <coughs> it needs to compile new shaders when you get hit. It needs to compile new shaders when you but get that, hit. That wouldn't explain why you, it lags every single time, because if it was shader compilation, then it wouldn't lag the second time. Wait, this game lags whenever you get hit? So it's a time loss if you get hit. Wait, that's actually. <laughs> Liam, that's actually so sad. The game, the game lags whenever you get hit. That's that's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty sad. <laughs> speedrunners, speedrunners get hit once and reset the entire game. 
So I get, dude, yeah, I guess it really is this easy. This game, I feel like, was less of a maze than previous Resident Evils. Like, when I played, like, the Resident Evil 2 remake, there was so much that was just, like... Oh. This is this is when you get attacked by the first, uh... The first, uh... First daughter attacks you. And this is then the dungeon. You just kind of run through it. No big deal. I'm glad I didn't play the other demos. Oh, shoot. There she is, chat. There she is. In all of her glory. Yes. <laughs> I love how she has a specific door exit animation because she's too dang tall for everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then this is where you got to... I'm surprised he's pushing it instead of shooting it. Yeah, shooting it just seems a lot easier. Especially when you can just run past everything, it seems. Here we go. Yeah, I, I wasn't this in the first demo. I'm really glad I didn't play the first demo. Really, really glad I didn't play it. Pipe bomb. Oh, you need the pipe bomb, huh? You need the pipe bomb. Oh, there it is. Reset the run. Reset the run. Got hit. Yeah, load up that shotgun. Uh, the shotgun probably one shots everything, huh? Sandra caused all this mess. Okay, you get attacked by another wasp lady. He's grabbing some shoddy ammo for the fight. What? My body. Damn it! Breaking. What the hell? I won't forgive you, you bastard! Ah! How did she get attacks on me? That's all the ammo it took? Wait a sec. What? That's all the ammo it took? That's insane. <laughs> Bro, I should have played on casual. Much le much less stressful for your health. No limit of crit either. Okay, back to the first area. Yeah, the castle was definitely the longest area. It was a great intro to the game. I think the castle was definitely the strongest, like, of the four, like, you know, areas. Like, the four things to play. Oh, I think yeah, castle well. was definitely strongest. Um, but I think that was be because it was, like, it, you spent the most time there. It was meant to be the strongest. It wasn't meant to be, uh, like, the other ones weren't meant to be as long and as in-depth as castle was. It was just such a good intro to the game. Oh, wait. She took it on her own. Shall I give you a tour? Okay. Get her in here. Courtyard key. Oh, do you, are you not supposed to kill her just yet? Apparently not. <laughs> yeah, it kind of subtracted from the horror of the game when everyone was all down bad for all of the, uh, the, the bad people. Capcom has been known to introduce new enemy types and DLCs. What are the enemies, the new enemies in Mercs is for a future DLC? Yeah, I haven't played Mercenaries yet. What have you done to my daughter? Uh. Oh, the, this this one you gotta memorize it, huh? This one, that that's a big memorization puzzle right there. See, I can, now oh, I can't speed run the, the game. Person. The environments. Now I can't speed run the game because I would have to memorize that. <laughs> Third person. Oh, I got jump scared like eight times here. It was great. Like literally eight times, I got jump scared. <laughs> it makes it look so much less scary. It's so frustrating. Surprised he's not shotgunning these guys. I guess it. I guess it takes time to stop and whoa, whoa, whoa. grab ammo. Time lost. Time lost. Restart it. Got hit. Have to render shaders. Um, I'd be surprised if Kakman doesn't patch an FOV. I just slider. Okay. Nine out of ten. Cross. Skips the cutscene with Lady D. Grab this, and then Lady D is like, "How dare you?" Here she comes. Yeah. Oh well, never mind. You don't Go get to ahead. see it. Do your worst. You don't get to see it. 
<laughs> she gets pissed. She's like, how dare you kill my daughters? Wait, did, did you... Have we only killed one or two at this point? Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought, th I thought that was it. I keep waiting for him to get his arm sliced. Isn't this where he gets his arm sliced? I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, literally right here. Literally right here. You will learn what it means to insult What? I it doesn't almost doesn't matter. Fuck. Severed hand. <laughs> you gotta wait for literally the slowest door of all time. He hasn't been picking up any Kim fluid, so if, I mean, he has no heals right now. Heal, Ethan, heal. Don't make me lose time. Come on, heal. Ethan! Heal. Dude, Ethan. Wait, does he just randomly fix his own arm during this? Oh, it's like a time-based thing, so he gets slow. Almost when we're at the destination, you bastard. He gets slowed well, whenever he gets hit, and he automatically... He automatically heals, um... <laughs> How much RNG is involved? Not that much. Ah, uh, yes. In fact, this is surprisingly consistent. The holy water shall fix my jacket. The, the funniest part is how it, it, fit, it fixes its jacket, too. Is this too. out on the Game Boy? Uh, the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Dude, where is the PSP not game, chat? it's not the DS for some reason. Where is the PSP games? I love how it, I love how it sews up the jacket too. Man, screw this castle. Dude, this this is unbelievably fast. This is uh, like it took me like an entire playthrough just to get here. I can even be so calm when reattaching his hand. He's done it before. Yeah. I mean, Ethan's lost his hand before. Zoe attached it for him. <laughs> it's actually a running feature in this game that also Ethan just loses all of his right hands. Now. All right, do you have to play the piano? I think you have to play the piano. Pog. A beautiful song yeah, there is. for sure. Is infected by the mold and, has and then this is where you get the iron insignia key. I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly. Yes, sir. There it is. The glass is key. We love that. It's just so funny when you know what to do, how fast you can play these games. It was the same thing with the Resident Evil 2 speedrun. There you are. Go, 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 go. Oh, he almost got his back sliced. <laughs> so, no! you really so it's one, two, three. Yeah. He keeps he keeps missing that last shot. Uh, uh. And she dies. He doesn't even pick up the. Uh, I don't think I should reload it just yet. The money. I'm sick of us. Did I fuck up? Oh uh, no. no. I I'm surprised he's not. He's literally not I'm even picking up the money at all. Got to memorize where the bells are too. Oh, I just sniped it there. I just sniped it. I, I, I didn't like knock the chandelier out of the way first. I didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> yeah, I, I wonder, I wonder like, cause he's not collecting any money. How is he supposed to kill these bosses? I mean, it is casual, but like still these bosses have health that you need to do damage to. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm very surprised that he, I mean, he, I don't know. He's already like a third of the way through the game. Almost a third, very nearly. Got, got the sniper rifle. Dude, I not, literally not once for the entire game did I not have enough uh, inventory space. I was really proud of myself. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but that's what happened. Not once the entire game did I ever run out of inventory space. Ethan's like the ultimate family man. He goes to hell for his wife and then does it again for his daughter. <laughs> Isn't he like, isn't his like actual occupation in the lore just like some IT guy? <laughs> the IT guy from hell, dude. Dude, I, I don't know if the, if the AI is because it's casual that he's just able to, I mean, the, the flying guys were always pretty weak. Like they, they weren't really a big deal. You could always just kind of run past them. Ethan was them. infected, I guess. Oh, 
We don't know when Ethan was infected. He could have been infected as soon as he stepped into the old house. Well, then... The well, difference he... is he died and then the mold revived him. That's an interesting way to skip a ladder. Literally just run past it. Oh my gosh, those birds are so annoying. I think he, I think he was like infected whenever he was killed by... He did not have sex with Miranda. Well, thankfully, you only have to do it once during the entire run. At least in this category. Oh my god. <laughs> no, he did not. Man thing. You won't live long, even if you run. <sighs> oh no, 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 chat. Oh no, no, no. Why why is this why is this happening? Dimitreoki. Alright, gotta grab the mask, then you gotta grab the other mask to replace said mask with the, that that mask. And then here's where you kill. I was oh, I think <laughs> that was where he lost the last run. He said he missed the pipe bomb right there. And uh, it, it caused him to lose this no. run. He said, Can you die closer to the door, please? I need, I need your torso. You know, it's fucking torso. Wait, what? Wait, he doesn't. He did or didn't need it? Oh, we'll misclick there. Animal skull. Huge. All right. Is that three out of four masks already? <laughs> I know the left side works. The entire bloodline of House Dometresk is done in by the likes of you. Dometresk? I I have been I I, I have been uh I have been bamboozled. Let let what? let amok. Let astray. So yeah, these th that was just a little little minor misclick there. He's like, uh, can you open faster? Woo! That was close, dude. How is he gonna take her take her out? No. Okay, little time loss. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. All right, let's try. It's to get all this good. Right. So he gets the. This is where he gets the big knife, and then he stabs her, and then the time comes. Looks gets like the cutscene, and yeah, there she is. Oh God! Whenever she goes into this form. <laughs> Yeah, I can I can see how she has like a high affinity to the uh what's it called? Because when you read the lore and everything, it talks about uh, how Alcina, uh, Alcina de Matre, or however Wait. you pronounce it, Wait. has like a very high affinity to the uh, to the mold. Dude, you gotta be you gotta be on your shot to in order to do this, man. No, tail. Yeah, it seems like he has the boss fights really oh, really only down two too. Shots. Flies away. You need to reload that shotgun. Reload that shotgun. What? She didn't. Hasn't died. Fuck. Oh, it's like 10 seconds lost. Fuck. That's 10 seconds just a, lost? Just a snack round, probably. That's a loss? 
I, so I guess it doesn't matter how much you shoot her there. You have to wait for that little cutscene to trigger. I almost cried beating this on Villager's Shadow. Dude, the uh, the Villager's Shadows mode has got to be like the hardest thing ever, man. I, I, I would not look forward to playing that. Someone in the chat was like, I almost cried on that part. Oh, come on. Why are you not dead? So is that her dead? Dude, casual is mad easy, dude. 27 seconds, is that real? It's cursed. Please tell me this gold is broken. It's real. I lost 27 seconds to that fight. God damn it. 27 seconds? Bro, there's so much time saved in this. I mean, obviously, like, he makes it up in the later part of the run because he gets world record, obviously. But Gross. I, I just think it's so interesting. I would love to see this game on uh, NG+. Plus. Whenever the NG+, Plus category catches up to how unbelievably OP this guy is, um, I'd be really interesting. Get the fishies. <gasps> Got to reload that shoddy, too, my brother. Yeah. Mother Miranda. The winged key. Pog. Dude, I, I do like how you get like one key for the entire thing and you just keep upgrading the key over and over. It's really cool. Just the, the level design is part of what res makes Resident Evil so dang good, dude. Just like the constant like upgrading your, your areas, what you can do. They just do it so well. They do it so, so well. Hey. <laughs> also, you, you always forget, you always forget that like literally Miranda is just like divided up your daughter into four vials. It's so messed up, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 Lycans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. And you get to the hub for the most of the rest of the game, actually. I wonder what the doll speedrun is looks like. Uh, the dollhouse speedrun is going to be, I'm sure, very terrifying. There you are. I had a few. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. So he's going to go ahead and sell. Oh, Lady Dimitres. Beautiful even in death. That waistline. Yes. He sells his shotgun and his handgun and just upgrades the sniper rifle. Bro! Wait. Dude, that is so interesting. Wait, what did he just shoot there? Hold on. What is this? What did he just shoot there? It looked like a little lock up there, but I, I didn't shoot that in my playthrough. Whatever that was. Oh god. <laughs> Scared me. What what did he shoot? What was that? Alright, don't mess this up. And by don't mess this up, I mean don't forget to split. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna do it, I just need to remember to split. He's almost out of sniper ammo, bro. Dude, if it was me. I would literally make this a split. Wait, you, you, oh, cause you find the new pistol. You find it, you don't have to buy it. It's the last gun that you find. So I remember that. If we do that fast, so I can, doesn't have enough time to teleport, it seems like. Ah, uh, yes, teleporting lichens. Yeah, good, it good, seems good, like good. if the lichen is in the, anywhere inside the entire gated area, it teleports, otherwise it stays outside or something. Yeah, I forgot that you literally get a, a new pistol. But the, the rest of them, you, you know. But he's selling your shotgun? What do you do with all that extra shotgun ammo, right? He didn't sell his shotgun ammo, so why, why, why get rid of it? I don't know. This is, I mean, obviously he knows. I'm just interested, man. Come 
combined with the winged key. So now he has the level two key. Bro, he did that so fast. I remember I spent so much time trying to figure out how to get over there and then I spent so much time exploring and everything. Does he upgrade this pistol at all? Dude, oh my gosh, that was probably the fastest thing, man. All right, here we go. My least favorite part of the game. <laughs> Dude, he's already over a third of the way through on time. Because the, end the ending of the game has so many more cutscenes you can skip. Thanks yeah. to Luther Glory. It's so much better run than the last one, at least. Only problem is I lost a lot of time to Lady D. 27 seconds. Pain. Pain. But I'm really tired. Freaking last. He's not even scared. It's not fair. I mean, I give it. I know everything that happens, so I'm less scared. You won't see a frame of the baby. Ethan, come with me. There's something I have to tell you. Dude, I really wish he was playing with the mod that turned the baby into Chris Redfield. Dude, the mods on Resident that Evil are so good, man. They're so good. I love minutes. them so much. The Chris Redfield mod. <laughs> Chris feels different. Ethan, you have to fix her. Mm -hmm. What the hell is this? Everyone leaves me. Even Rose. Yeah, quit complaining. Dude, why does Mia look so different than she did in the first game? That's that uh, the Resident Evil 7, that is. Mia looks so different than she did in the first game. I, I really I really don't know why. Am I losing it? I feel like everything else is like pretty pretty standard, but Mia just looks different. Alright, get rid of the family photo. What's going on? Mm. And Away. Wait, is there something scary that happens in the elevator? Yeah, it, it like, it like the lights go out and then it shoots scribbles on the wall while the lights are up. <laughs> he's just popping his fingers. He's chilling. He's like, I don't even need to look around. <laughs> this is what we oh, like yeah, to call the rest. an unskippable cutscene in the uh, in the speedrunners world. You're gonna wanna upgrade your shotgun and sniper rifle for more anyway. Oh, you do get you do get a uh, shotgun. Lady Suzuka. Through the playthrough, I forgot yeah, about I love that. This game. So he's just he's just preemptively getting rid of it, and you never get a new sniper rifle, so that's why he. Okay, I I I, I see. I, yeah, I forgot you do get, the, and you also get the grenade launcher as well. And then if you do the side mission, you get the magnum. I don't think he's gonna go for that because that would be a huge time loss. That would be a huge time loss. All right, my least favorite part of the game. Let's get it. Let's do this. Is literally what I wish I could have done if I had known how to beat it quickly. Pistol from the old guy, right? Sorry, skip the cutscene. Wait, what do you mean? This is what I wish my playthrough could have looked like getting through here as quickly and as painlessly as possible. Why did elevator elevator riding in this? Not, not much to do. Not much to do. And, all right. Well, here we go. If it wasn't creepy already, time to get super creepy. Ugh. All right, I have chill. I have chills just thinking about my first time playing the, through this one. Okay, is it useful in any way? I like it this way more. What? And there's the Mia doll. Where's my gun? All right. We gotta, yeah, we gotta do this little examine posture, thing. It's gonna get dragged in the speed run. Grab the winding key, and then need uh, the scissors. I guess, I guess you don't need to do the other ones. Yeah, I, I don't think you need to do the other ones at all because. Um, Really? Uh, all it does is tell you which thing you need to change it to, but it seems like that's static in every game. So all the codes and stuff are static, so you don't have to do the playthrough or anything, which is really nice. 
I, I, I'm, I'm just, I, I'm just talking to, you know, distract myself. Winding key. Easy speed run. Easy speed run. <laughs> Yo, it's the face reveal. Ethan's face reveal. Did you see it? The little guy on the doll. It was Ethan's face reveal. Oh, yeah. This is where she's at, like, the end of the hallway or something. I can't remember. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I need the optimal solution with the least, the least amount of moments. Every time I think I do something a little bit more optimal, it ends up getting messed up. Get the tweezers. I get the film roll. Good stuff. Dude, I've literally played through this. Yeah, right there. Hmm. <sighs> okay. And then you... Yeah. Do you need oh. to get the scissors first? Oh, time loss. Time loss. Restart the run. Restart the run. It's over. See, these are the things that I would mess up with. Yeah, the more I think about it, I'm pretty sure you're completely fine using three mines for Moreau, because I'm using pipe bombs for Belga anyway, and with not using any mines for Miranda, I don't need any more mines. Not using mines for Miranda. Interesting. Interesting. Hello, you're a pet bot. Thanks for the good luck. No, no mines from Miranda. It's just sniper rifle. Wait, you. He literally just uses a sniper rifle? For Mother Miranda? That, 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 that's hardcore, bro. That's, that's some hardcore business right there. It's the scissors. Phone rings. I guess you yeah, don't actually. have to answer it. Managed it, I think. Oh, yeah, I think you see. The reason why we. You I've see Mio walking by my right capacity there. Was not big enough, but if you have enough for capacity and rate of fire and damage upgrade, you can power through it. Grab the medallion. And then you place the medallion into the wall. And then this is the part where you just need to memorize what, what's what. This one's three closed eyes, right? Yeah. Easy. That one that one's pretty easy. Bird to the right, three closed eyes, that's all. This is the part right here that I was 100% certain that it was going to be like a flashback to Resident Evil 7 of like Evil Mia. That's the part like I 100% thought was going to happen. Also, I'm surprised uh, he didn't just like uh, skip Kevin it Ezekiel. and jump down the well. I guess there's not a way there's to do that. a few others. Don't exactly know. Like, look at my Twitch, I looked at my Twitch following list and 80% of them are playing Village. They're either on their... Here we Roger go. Shadows casual playthrough. Baby or time. Or trying to route Shadows. The baby or says yummy if it eats you. Wait, is that true? I didn't get eaten by the baby ever. I, so I didn't hear that. Cute little baby chat. Guys, don't we all love the baby? It's the cute baby. Who's the cute baby? Who's the cute baby? Yeah. So I guess you just have to follow it and then you have to activate the baby. Did he look up so it didn't stall him out at all? Seems like that worked. Bro, those are the kind of tricks that are just going to be, keep, like, keep on getting found. Ways to skip cutscenes, ways to skip sections of the game. Wasn't I'm just nothing. really excited for it, man. I'm really excited to see the full-on, uh, the, the full-on optimized version of this with everything found out and everything. Pocked it. Relief of a child. My yes, man has I the baby's route optimized. He said, "Hey, I ain't ever, I ain't gonna see the baby once." Straight, straight up, straight up. If you don't look at it, it can't trigger the cutscene. See, does he does he somehow skip going through? Yeah, I think he skips hiding under the bed. 
That's impressive. Oh wait, does he not? Oh. <laughs> what? Bro. The baby manipulation of the spawns is otherworldly, dude. That was pretty insane. He literally didn't look at it, so it didn't like do that cutscene or whatever. I've never ran out before. That was that was pretty sick. It's insane that someone has already figured that out. So he's probably he's probably not gonna look at it the entire time so it doesn't trigger that cutscene. Wow. I mean, you gotta give it up for that. You gotta give it up for that. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Literally manages to... Oh yeah, this is where this part starts. This is where you just gotta stab... Stab a... Try and find me. <laughs> Yeah, this this is the this is the quote unquote boss fight. I really liked the theme of this house. I mean, it was obviously terrifying for me, but I really liked the theme of this house. It bites your hand. Fucking monster. <laughs> it literally just bites your hand. There's something scarier about it, like, biting your hand than, like, your arm getting sliced off by Lady D. For real. And then... All the little doll heads, like, shaking are, are like, so creepy. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, totally. Uh-huh. Fuck. Oh, there's different spawn points. I didn't realize there were different spawn points for it. I just don't want to look at the baby. Because I want to sleep tonight. Wait, was he... Get what I mean? Oh, he was kidding. He was joking. <laughs> Come on. Wow, that was a that was a really quick really quick skip of everything. That makes two. So we got the flask now. Gotta wait for this door to oh, the game to catch up with the fact that he's already done everything. Wow, okay. That was pretty darn fast. The baby skip was was awesome. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I don't look at the baby so no, I can sleep tonight. To speed run. Yeah, I, I think the worst part of this area for speedrunning is the fact that there's so many elevators that you can't skip. You literally just have to. Oh, is it wait, the call space you know about I mean? him being back there? Um, I trigger him and then just take the call space, and he doesn't have enough time to block. It's a she, okay? That's Rose. It's a she, or at least that's it is a manifestation of Rose. So you, so you trigger it and then you go before it has a chance to block. Yeah. So I, I, you, you just do every, like, cause the game doesn't expect you to do stuff fast. It, it, it expects you to be scared and not want to die. So you run away. But when you know what you're doing, you're able to just manipulate this game in a way that isn't normal. You know what I mean? I want, okay. So here's where he would go get the, uh, not, oh wait, is it here or somewhere else that you would go get the swagnum? So he, he okay. So he gets the shotgun and a mine here. So, 136? Yeah. Who has 136? Who has 136? Well, 139 was. Somebody got a 136 without me knowing. Yeah, I, I like. Unless you're talking about Negan Plus, in which case it probably is a 136. 
new game plus how can but how with infinite ammo for the strongest weapons in the game is it is it like would it even only be a minute faster you know what i mean like that <gasps> Like, like that doesn't even make sense. How could it only be a minute faster? And even then, this is still world record. I looked oh, it up. There was no 136. There was no. Does this look familiar to you? Ah, yes, I have you. Find some. Okay, so he is going to upgrade the. Oh, he has to sell first. Miss Angie, just adorable. Porcelain dolls are very popular, you know. Rate of fire, power. So he just upgrades his sniper rifle. Have a wonderful adventure. Well then, feel free to peruse. Supplies. What does he grab here? Grabs two mines. Okay. Uh, have a wonderful adventure. So so did he? So he did not. He see he seemed kind of mad. No, the fish is fucked. Too far out of the way for it to be worth it. The fish. Oh. Someone in the chat was asking, like, is it worth it to go get the fish that allows you to, uh, um, oh yeah, this is where you get attacked by the first werewolf. <laughs> um, the fish is, like, worth it to go, like, get it. So you can, uh, oh, and he does get the grenade launcher as well. Whoa, dude, leave me alone. Chill. <laughs> Listen, buddy, you're not going to kill me. I'm on casual. Leave me alone. Because the fish, you can concoct a stew that makes you move faster, but he's saying the fish is too far out of the way that the time save you get from running faster isn't worth it. All right, time for ooey gooey time. Ooey gooey o'clock here. Yeah, so so far, it's the, like, there's, like, a lot of manipulation, but there's no, like, real glitches so far, which is interesting. Because, I mean, obviously the game just came out. Stuff is going to... stuff. This stuff takes years and years to find and optimize. Like, through the wall breaches and stuff like that. Um, this Like, it takes people just finding it accidentally. It, it just takes years and years of playing these games in order to, like, find all the glitches. But I truly I think if the game can be this fast without any glitches, like... Yeah. It's, it's going to be... It's going to be a big difference. All right, and it's time for Fish Boy. I mean, th this is I, I, know, I think nine ten. This area is definitely my least favorite I out of the four. Game, I'd say my favorite is Lady D's Castle. This is almost a decent Dollhouse, oh, Heisenberg's yeah. place, and then this one. This one's definitely my least favorite. I think that was kind of for everyone because it just this one seemed like it was, you know, not too crazy. Also, that's the dumbest cutscene in the game because he just stands there and talks uh, to the bad guy. Like, why? Okay, two spots. It makes one Moro a lot easier and faster by like six seconds. And it opens the five doors. Five do doors with the five glowing locks. Factory instant, definitely. How do I get out of here? Which makes up for, up for the 11 seconds it takes to get it. Wait, the, the 11 seconds it takes to get. Oh, the grenade launcher? What is it supposed to? <laughs> I remember this area. Oh, yeah, you can sell them. I That's almost died and I wasted so much ammo in that area when you could have just did oh, that. Superman, the fight. Don't need ammo, don't need craftables if you can just literally run through everything, huh? <laughs> uh. Watching it, watching a speedrunner play play a game you just beat just makes you feel so dumb and so bad. Oh, kind of scared me a little bit actually. At the end, I'm gonna sell everything but my sniper. Fuck. Yeah, if he if he would take another second to make sure he's selecting the right thing, he. Uh, Do I know how weapon swaps work? You press as weapon swap button would, and then he would save a save weapon. a lot of time here, because he accidentally did that on the door too. I've seen, I, I've seen the flashbang be used for at least one route in New Game Plus Casual. Yeah, dude, I, I, I like there's just going to be so many optimizations and like learning how to perma stun the bosses and stuff like that. The bosses are the main thing that take up a ton of time. So if you can if you can figure out the best <laughs> route to kill the bosses in the most time efficient way to collect the supplies you need for that route, 
That's gonna be the big okay. thing. Oh yeah, here's where you see Chris again. I don't fuck this up. Here's the part one of the boss fight with this thing where you basically just have to avoid it. Ethan with his sewn up jacket. <laughs> Dude, the, the other thing that's going to help a lot is mods, dude. Mods, like using mods to figure stuff out and test stuff is going to be huge. Like being able to test different situations. He also hasn't saved once, which I mean, obviously it makes sense. You're not going to die in casual. Uh, you know yeah, how the game works, but do you have to I break off the sandal. I guess you have to break off the sandal because eventually you need to. Uh... Fuck. Dude, there's, there, there's the RNG aspect as well. You have to get lucky on drops. Yeah. Ooh, that's smart. Pre-shooting that from all the way over here is really, really smart. <laughs> <Not looking invisible. laughs> just, just, <laughs> just casually going as fast as you can past him. Yeah, if he could manage to shoot both of those earlier... That would be a huge help. A huge help. Also, know. if this was a skip, there's some kind of a big out of bounds skip. I doubt it. Oh, yeah, you gotta. It's a long freaking game. You gotta do the creepy crawly. Creepy crawly thing here. Done! I wonder if you actually run faster with your pistol out. Why did that sound like a baby for a second? Did, you, did, did that sound like a baby for a second? Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I, di I died right there because I tried to sprint it and I died there. Or was it right there? I can't remember. That's the longest any percent world record. F, I guess. Let's stay the default button. Closer oh. rounds. That's pretty good. I, mean, I guess that's useful. It's also, dude. That's, dude. That's an interesting part. Like, what, what portion of this is RNG, and what portion of it is like, you, you actually buy the things you need. I guess I you know what I mean? It. Like, you, like you could technically buy mines like he did every single time it's available, but then you need more money. So what do you sacrifice in order to do that? There's just a lot of interesting, a lot of interesting ideas. Oh yeah, and then that was like, <laughs> Ethan's like literally about to die. Yeah, I caught myself, oh, he's like damn. telling jokes and stuff. Caught myself a big one. Yeah, he's very low on ammo, very low on ammo right now. When Ethan swaps weapons too fast, his right hand falls off. <laughs> All right, so we got the crank here. Can't climb up like this. Oh, so you actually have to trigger that. Even though you know that you're gonna have to rotate this windmill, you have to trigger that you can't climb up that hey, first huh? in order for it to rotate around. I have high hopes for this one. For being all liquid. I just need to get a perfect um The cat fish fight. <laughs> Bro <laughs> Cat just comes through. He's like, hey, I heard there was a fish to eat over here. <laughs> yeah. Game is definitely an action game, not a horror game. Hey, dude, that part right there. Reminded me of like a ride at uh, like a theme park What's or something. Name, Dada? Dada. Dada. Is that how you run? Dada. Okay. Dada the cat. All right. Now he needs to do the hardest puzzle in the entire game. Lights. That is new game plus then. I'm going to go for three mines. I have one ended the puzzle. I should have ended it. Yeah, I wasn't here, but it's fine, is it? <laughs> that was the fastest I, I, 
I, I'm, I'm in, I'm in disbelief. Oh my gosh, it's so large when it's in water. <laughs> He's like, hey, I know you don't attack me right now. I know that's later. Can you please move? Okay. I can pass the mag. All right, let's see. Let's see what the strat is for this. go what that's what I'm talking about he no shot he just did that boss fight that fast wow we just made fish and chips hey, baby bro that is that that is what i'm expecting to see out of a speed run boss fight right there that is what i'm expecting to see for real you get the cutscene of heisenberg talking to you saying go only get, a minute go get the All flask balls. This is my last chance with today, Eddie. I'm too tired. So we'll see. There's a barrel behind him. You want to get it with the pipe bomb? Wow, that was such... That was such a fast segment, that dude. Was that, was, that was a very big glod right there. So I guess you use... Yeah, he, someone in the chat's asking, what's the point of throwing the pipe bomb behind him? I think that's literally for, like, throwing it and then you stun. You stun the guy extra time to lay down the three mines to get ready for the shotgun sniper shots. Yeah, this is actually a beautiful run so far. I mean, very minor time oh, I losses. I mean, I guess Lady D had it. He had a time loss. And then, uh... There's some hotkey problems with keeping the <coughs> good launcher for regular use later. I guess I don't need the pipe on, so... And I don't need to... Fast group the pipe bomb, so. Why not, right? Fast group. Easy. Okay. He's got the grenade launcher. Is this where you get attacked by another werewolf? I think this is werewolf number two. Yeah, so he is skipping the. Uh, I love this game. The big swagnum. Hey, a speedrunner who actually likes the game he's playing. Give it a year. Give it a year. He'll hate this game, but he'll still be speedrunning it. <laughs> you know how it goes. Show must go on. Okay, so he is opting to not... Even though he has new unlocks in the shop, he's opting to not buy everything. Buy anything. Isn't this like... You grab the flask, like, really early, and then you... Dude, the, the most frustrating thing is that Ethan oh, just, like... That was an enemy coming after me. Ethan just, like... Leaves all the flasks. Oh, yeah, this is where you literally fight an obscene amount of lichens, which I assume he will kill approximately zero of and run past the rest of them. What? Oh, time loss. Time loss. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Should have blocked. Should have blocked. He's Should've... usually not a problem. Have blocked. I wonder how many times he's speedrunning this game. Oh, already 42 times. 42. Or, uh, guy, sorry, 32 yeah. times. Or I think four out of 32 at the very top here. I'm pretty sure that means it's 32 runs. Right? Like I, like I would assume so. All right, he gets number one. And lichens are, you know, they're existing. See, like, it really is easy once you know how to beat this game. Like, it sounds dumb, but, like, it really is super, super it, easy. One the nine. Whenever you figure okay. out, like, what like, you need to do to kill. get through certain parts of the game. Gate okay, is taking forever to open. Blow up the barrel. What? Good block, good block. Let's go, good block. That that part took me so long. 
So I guess he has to fight the uh, the big beardy boy, huh? Can you skip that cutscene? Usually, I think the door, the really slow door opening ones. Wait, really? Dude, it, it, one it thing that standard. is crazy, even with like new game and new game plus, all of the runs are landing around one like it's 137, 138, 139 right now. But I've been watching. They are all very, very close. I think the next category we will watch whenever some tricks are discovered and the you know the time gets increased a little bit is new game plus. I think watching new game plus could be really, really interesting for the next one. Whenever whenever you know the time gets knocked down a little bit. Cause th this is interesting because it's like this is the basis, you know what I mean? This is straight up the basis, like this is where the runs begin type thing. And casual, casual really is just like, hey, here's a free win, <laughs> straight up. <laughs> it really is just playing the game on story mode. I did beat Village Shadows. I'm sure, I'm sure you the get Mike a lot of adds, ammo drops what? as well from enemies. Why? He already beat, dude, the game's been out five days. He already beat it on the hardest difficulty and has hey, uh, then obtained the world record for new game. Like, Today, oh no, that's not happening. How? Okay. That'll be the stupidest decision ever. Okay, he got lots of sniper so reload. Alright, let's see how fast he kills this big one. That's not good. I mean, he hasn't even jumped down yet, and I'd say he's probably close to half health. That was weird. Am I missing upgrades? No. Oh, like he. Am I missing, what? He's missing a five rate upgrade? Up. Bro, that guy. Tanked shots uh, no, from no me. More. I mean, Perfect. obviously it's casual, right? Like, obviously it's casual. But that guy absolutely I've got him a soft box. shots. And then you get the cutscene of talking to Heisenberg. Heisenberg says, "Comes to my yeah, factory." There's no iframes in this game. Anywhere. Okay. The technically the only time. Where somebody is invulnerable is if you put a mine down and it explodes immediately. It doesn't hit you. But sometimes, I swear, if you put a mine down and you move slightly away, it then it hits you. Yeah, I, I had that you. happen where I had a mine explode right underneath Enemies right after I placed have, it no, and I was fine. Iframes anywhere. Iframes are invincible frames for you, for you uh, peons watching. Iframes are invincible frames. Which honestly is great. I hate iframes. Wait, what's wrong with iframes? They're great. You can cheese so many things. You can literally cheese so many things with a mine iframe. Oh, yeah, I guess you can't get great. Oh, yeah. oh this is where, yeah, this is where you get attacked by another. But this is why you get attacked by another. They don't even give, give you lat lateral iframes. That's kind of lame. Iframes are basically a period of time where you're invulnerable to damage. All right, he needs to put all of the flasky flasks up here. Pleasure to see you return alive. Oh yeah, you get a, I think you get a flashback on the first and final one that you can what skip. Skips the flashback there. This one, I don't think you get a flashback. It's smart to wait till the end to do all these all at once because like if you do it before, then um, you know, it's, if you, if you do it before you, you run the risk of like wasting time going back and forth to it when you can just do it all at the end. Yeah, this will be today's last one. Oh no, you don't get a flashback, but you do get, you do get a cutscene of like the stuff opening. Dude, I'm excited to see how he, how oh, he speed runs the uh, the, the Chris the Chris part of the game. 
What's going on? Uh, Alright. And he can put the giant's chalice down. And then he will go to... Dude, this is the, this is the other frustrating part of the game, storyline-wise. He just leaves all the parts of Rose right here. Yeah, instead of he making enemies faster, they made them tankier. Which is kind of lame. But then again, I would... I don't really want the enemies to move like three times faster, like in Inferno. So instead of making the enemies like AI work differently, they just made them have more health is basically how the hardest difficulty of this game works. And they probably hit harder too. But that's, oh, what are you going to do? That's kind of <laughs> interesting. People are still going to run with your shadows. Don't worry about the kid, Ethan. It'll be fine. It'll yeah. be fine. Just get your ass across the bridge. I love Heisenberg's voice actor, man. I think Lady oh. D's design is probably the best in the game. Listen, not for those reasons, but because yeah, like she's the most the memorable character. Days, maybe. But his his VO is insane. It's so good. Back in America, hmm? I like you. Boss fights are boring and long. Like yeah, honestly, I feel like the room. casual boss fights are perfect length. Oh, come on. Except maybe the propeller guy where I'm just throwing six pipe bombs on him. That's all it takes and to kill propeller guy is six guess, pipe bombs? The fight's, you know, looks really fucking awesome. This is where you talk to him, you get knocked down into the propeller guy. You run away from propeller guy. The propeller guy is like the funniest boss ever, dude. Straight up. Straight up, Propeller Guy is so funny. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually pissed if that works. You just throw a bunch of pipe bombs at Propeller Guy, and he, and he dies. What Dude. was that thing? Oh, this game is so good. This game is so good, man. Like, why, why would he not pick up the gunpowder and scrap and stuff? Like, it seems like being able to craft some extra ammo... did not... Want I don't, Rose I don't know, man. He wanted to use Rose to kill Miranda. If he said, let's team up, we'll kill Miranda and save Rose, I think Ethan would have been like, hell yeah. Yeah, apparently, I mean, Ethan's literally a god, so he kills both of them. I mean, technically, and he honestly, dies I think once the in the middle, but you know. You know, you know what I would have liked? I would have liked for Heisenberg to survive. Rose still used her power to make Miranda killable. Wait, really? This place is messed up. Wait, really? <laughs> so we ended up doing exactly what Heisenberg said anyway. Good stuff. Yeah. Did I miss that? I, I, Yo, Queenie. I, I guess that, that wasn't like. Thanks for the 14 month resub. That wasn't like, like stated. Have you played this? But. Yeah, that, that is true. This this part of the arc was kind of weird. Like, you you purpose, you leave Rose in the Giant's Chalice, and then you go to Heisenberg, who has nothing for you. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of thought that as I was, like, playing. But it makes, it like, it doesn't make sense. Like, why would you, you know... What, like why why did he go to Heisenberg? Relief mold. This guy wakes up for the first time. Big scary doo doo. Oh. Big scary man. Yeah, I. I mm. I mean, obviously, like, like they could have had a reason. Like, I know how to kill Miranda. Come see me. No, don't watch. You know, that 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 would have made sense. That would have made sense. And I guess that was kind of what this was implied. This game is awesome. You need to experience it yourself for the first time. Yeah, that's that is very true. If you're watching this and you haven't beat the game yet, or at least watched a full playthrough, seems useful. You're 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 missing out on so much experience right now. You really are. Every single cutscene. This, this, dude, this, this part of the game was literally a maze, man. Oh. Uh oh. 
I did not know that you could run through these. Damn it. Oh, you can cancel the heal? I had no idea that you could cancel the heal. By like aiming in with your weapon. Yeah, it's not super useful because like how many times? Like I probably healed like, you know, 15 times maybe over the course of the entire game. You really don't I heal a lot. I the wrong way just yet. Dude, this, pl this place, this, this was the, I roll. this was the like, oh, I forgot that. the most confusing no, part by far. Like in terms there of where you need to go and everything. Uh, like three mold. normal and one masochistic. Three normal and one. And, and. This guy has been fucking with me, man. The crazy part is all this damage, all that damage, literally does like nothing. Oh, it's because no I didn't unlock you. Again. That. I thought you should unlock that first, I guess. Dude. What? Dude, that mold took forever. What? Dude, those are big. Who is this guy? Bosses. This is supposed to be casual. <laughs> Village of Shadows is unreasonably oh, difficult. Oh, he's taking like 20 seconds away from me. Bro, I, I would be, to die in two I would be what the interested in on? watching a Village of Shadows speedrun, honestly. This game is just so good. I, I I can't get enough of it. I really can't. I mean, you probably die in like two. Like he would be dead by now. Village of Shadows. Like those two drills would have killed him. Everything is super tanky. That's what he was talking about. That saves a bunch of time right there. By by shooting the grenade launcher and blowing up all five of those about. things at once. That saves a bunch of time. Plus you don't have you have the enemies coming after you, so you gotta hurry. You know. To be her children. She locked us away in the village. And there's another one. Dude, all of those are worth the time. Understand Straight up. That Dude, just being able to shoot those two was worth the time it took to go get the grenade launcher. I, like my siblings. I want nothing more than to be free of that bitch. <laughs> so I need Heisenberg, to man. Ah! I was afraid of that. Failure. It break the targets. Here comes Propeller Boy again. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. Heisenberg, you need to re read through your voice lines faster. You need to re read through your voice lines just a little bit faster, Heisenberg. Come on now got a long way to go yeah so apparently shooting one of those bodies off the conveyor belt gives you a challenge points which allows you to buy all the cheat codes and stuff like that in the game cut the tea thanks for the raid <laughs> how was your stream oh oh i see i see <laughs> i i I, th I didn't see the seven so i was like oh the one viewer raid oh yeah i did see that some guy claimed that capcom stole his designs Oh yeah, I saw that. There was like a lawsuit or something. And I gotta say, the propeller guy was oh, shit, ripped straight off from the movie. The propeller guy was straight off from. The... So it was propeller guy. He's saying that they they stole. I mean, I feel, dude, I just feel like there's only so many ways you can make like a like mech horror thing. Propeller guy. I I, I don't know that. Seems like a stretch. Seems like a stretch. I think. But I mean, hey, maybe maybe it literally is the exact same. Even then, I just feel like everything is gonna copy everything else at some point. Another one. Like you, you can, you can like in good faith Stop make stuff your you own, but like, you know what I mean? It just like, I don't know. It's the other side. I swear I had a way to get to him fast. <gasps> oh. Dude, that, that almost double screwed him over when the second one landed up there. The factory is really tough. This game is gonna be a bitch to optimize. Woo! 
really mentally straining to run for hours. Just because it's long. And it also has a lot of speed tech. A lot of speed tech. Yeah, but I, I, it's and a lot of avoiding <laughs> enemies well. Part. Like, like, he's doing... In most of these games, yeah, they, the speedrunners always do a lot of things you no don't idea, really notice unless you know to look out for it. Even bothered. I'm not even gonna bother time you get no thanks. Oh yeah, this part's cool. So he actually is waiting till the last second because I, I think the speed you get pulled into is that, that, that is a little bit Longer. faster. Uh, I mean, I assume casual. Shit, that was close. <sighs> Yeah, there, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of like. Yeah, the fine fish is a little you bit move, far out of the way. Slightly move left to get the guy to move a little bit left, and then you go right as you run around the corner. Like, there's a lot of that little small stuff that makes me. a difference. Oh, is that an iPhone? Yeah, the, the fish. You, you really only get access to the fish part once you get the crank, and I just don't see. Right, because you have to like ride a boat all the way down. And you have to crank a thing. I just don't see it being you faster. Forced I really don't. Game assist. And some <laughs> other stuff to make it kind of a bitch to run. For your kid. And for the whole village. For the but, whole village. Uh, oh, fuck. I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. Go, key mold. <laughs> Poor Papa. You're the only one uh, I understand. Uh, if casual is too easy, where you just Take steam roll through everything, but it's I'd like to see you try. It's not that simple. This part, this part takes forever. Ooh. Oh, I don't need this sniper rifle. The, the, this part takes forever for the for the. Right, I'm gonna go B3. The even though B4 up. was faster. B3 is more consistent, and it's only like three seconds faster. Slower. Uh, oh, so, you, so be, I've expanded my service. Please come take a look. There's a uh, what's it called? So there, so there's two different routes you can do to get to the same key mold area. One is three seconds faster, but it has way more like risk. So he he said he's gonna go the other one. Cause I was what I was wondering. Oh, he saw the goat. You haven't shot the goat yet. You shot the other goat in the village. What the heck, brother? You could have even knifed that one. He was right against the wall. <laughs> Come on, this is a speed run. 100% speed run. Run, run, run. The technology is not, just not there yet, Wendell. <laughs> that, that's what he's talking about with speed run tech. He stops directly right in front of that guy, lets him lunge, miss, dodges that attack, and then keeps on moving. Oh, dude. Oh, he almost blocked him there. He almost blocked him. The red ones are like a frenzy version of them. They aren't as like methodical, and they also just swing a lot more. One grenade oh, launcher really? shot? That's unfair. That's unfair. That's unfair. Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. I put, I spent so much time killing these fools. Oh, this is where you see the armored one for the first time, isn't it? Yeah, there he is. I roll. Thanks to the seven months we saw. What? Yeah. There are frame rate tricks. Oh, there's there's a hundred percent. All right, now we saw the grenade launcher. One hundred percent ways to get through walls. If there is a yeah, tech to go through a solid object with a frame rate, with by changing your frame. Yeah, rate, I don't like it, but that's insane. <laughs> I can't think of a different way around him, so. 
That's insane. So he's going to sell the grenade launcher. This is Lord he's going to go with supplies. I suppose it's what they call the beauty of the Pipe bombs. So he's buying pipe bombs and mines for the uh, final fight. He's going to upgrade his sniper rifle for Miranda fight. Rate of fire goes up for Miranda fight. Can be done in just a moment. Ammo capacity. Can't afford. Holy shit. Finally, please come again. Are my eyes deceiving me, or did I just fully upgrade the damage and the fire rate on my sniper rifle, sir? Thanks to selling the you grenade launcher. Really so he, so th this is the first time he's trying out this fully upgraded sniper rifle. I have eight pipe bombs. Holy shit! Time to die. Okay, time to chuck all of them. Then. Gotta die fast. Now stay down. Bro. Do we even need money now? In that case. Bro. What? <laughs> that fight was so annoying for me, dude. That fight was so annoying. How did I have eight pipe bombs? I bought four. That's it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, casual. Kept the room intact. No, I'll just yeah, keep it safe and upgrade up the capacity on my sniper rifle at the end anyway. Because that's actually needed to darkness skip Miranda. You want to call it that? Skip. Okay, this is where this is where oh. you meet Chris right here. Hope I don't ever become a game tester. I'm actually really bad at finding bugs or even optimizing speed speed runs. Usually, let other people do it. All right, here we go for the Heisenberg boss fight. Let's get it. No, James. Let's get that cutscene. Under the elevator, elevator goes up, blasts the door. Yeah, this is the part where I tried to shoot the bodies, but it doesn't work at that part of the game, unfortunately. Or else I would have gotten the achievement. Sad. <laughs> Sad. Dude, this is so close. Dude, we're seven minutes away. The automatic shotgun, without, without any upgrades, it was garbage, actually. In my village, Shadow Spice, it was useless. From the ending of the game. That, that is insane. You're like a goddamn cockroach. You think you take me on? Fuck. This will be my war before I kill the bitch. Let's see. Nice. So he, he has to blow up each of the. Oh, really? Nice. Wow. So, so the, the 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 crazy part that you learn the lore about this guy and this boss. Holy is, shit! Did I only fire the cannon only once? Right, how much are you gonna move? The the only the only power he has is over electricity, but he uses that to manipulate nice. the magnetic fields. That's what he that's what he uses. I, I thought that was really cool. Okay, now with the fully upgraded sniper rifle, this part should go faster as well. Oh. <laughs> What the? Do I keep missing? Oh. Wow! That's insane. So whenever he that skips this, he'll be Chris thing. already. The boulder punching line. The re the reference is so good. That was so fast, dude. <laughs> you really should have taken my deal. Technically, technically the tank shouldn't be floating because it wasn't immune. Wait, 
Hey guys, this new update. <laughs> That's part of the game, actually. <laughs> the machine, the machine needed to up update its Apple software. Dude, th that's actually a mistake in the storyline because the because he can't met he can't metal bend the uh or he's not metal bending electromagnetic field he can't manipulate <laughs> the the tank so the tank should be sitting on the ground still it shouldn't be flying around with everything else because he can't lift it up with his powers that was the whole point that he can't control you know I'm not sure about here All right, so this skips the entire cutscene where Chris meets Miranda, or uh, where Ethan meets Miranda. So you're just gonna wake up and be Chris Captain, randomly. I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I reported it. I'm just clicking the P button until it <laughs> until it lets him skip. All right, I'm gonna try to rush through the like his two fast because I keep either getting grabbed or exploding myself. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. Spooky. Spooky. All right. Everyone skips the cutscene. Roger. Made contact with a group of hostile fireworks. Dude, the, this gun was insane on regular. Can you imagine this gun on casual, bro? Western rat is clear. Moving out. Roger that. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. I can take them. Don't get cocky. This part of the game just makes you feel so cool. For real. The hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. That's probably where my Okay, one thing that I would like for Capcom to fix. Is that the middle of my seats are rendering at half frame rate. Like zombies that are far away in order to remake. Wait, really? <laughs> they, they're not clean. They're not clean renders. He's like, thanks for opening the door, guys. <laughs> No! Come on. I was so close. Oh, this part. This part is where you just get an obscene amount of lichens. Roger that, boss. Oh, I was I was just shooting the house with it every time. Are you just supposed to shoot that? I guess it probably doesn't really matter. He goes back for all the all the additional stuff. Bro, they literally die in like one bullet. Un uncasual. Also, playing on PC probably helps. Oh, this is smart. Get the get the shot off right as he reloads. This in white side was Dude, these guys are the oh. This part on Village of Shadows, I'm sure, is unbelievably hard. This part on Village of Shadows, I I have no doubt, is literally the worst experience known to mankind. How about one inch away from my face? Yep, that works. That sound good. Mega my seat must be. And uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E-series. The stuff originated here. Gonna shoot the weak spot on the back here. Dude, I, I can't imagine this part of the I mean, even though you get the AR and everything, I really can't imagine this part of the game on Village of Shadows. It's got to be so difficult. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a good angle right there. That's a good angle right there. No, I actually, I was thinking about it, and it's probable that the voice acting for both this and R3 and McCavin at the same time. So that, you know, they were like, you know, we have the same actors in the series, too, so choose them for both games. Of you. How many Stay shots that was going to be right there? Where's the real I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? <laughs> we can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. Focus on the plan. And then this is the... It's the mega my seat. Not the muta my seat. The mega my seat. Throws the little bomb into it. Keep your distance. Run, run, run. He's just got this little thing. Does he need to reload his gun? We really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. And we didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. We still so, <laughs> you should have told him. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I kinda got him killed. It's just it's just lucky that he can, you know, regenerate. Alright, skip the cutscene with Mia. He's special. <laughs> He's very special. And... How did Miranda find about the rose? A clue? What's it called? <laughs> Wait, is he just chilling? Please tell me this is timed and not movement based. How did I get here? Oh, nice. I guess I guess you literally just have to wait a few seconds and you can skip the cutscene with Evelyn. Uh, yeah, I'll just be safe and upgrade my sniper rifle. Okay, gotta talk gotta to go. Big Duke one more time. Even though I think s s skipping Big Duke could say what's a lot. So he sells all of his guns except for a sniper rifle, huh? Oh wait, I have another upgrade here. Oh, it's a good thing I started to upgrade. Another upgrade gets unlocked. I definitely need that. Thanks, dude. He's got a very, very like, chunky like sniper rifle right now. Should be enough. Very chunky sniper rifle. So that, I, it seems like that's pretty much all he's gonna Can't use on Miranda. Before, like, right he, doesn't even, Miranda he said it earlier. Okay, he doesn't even enough. use mines. He just uses this on Miranda. And on casual, how we've seen some of these bosses go. Out of my way. Start running now. The mute of my seat is just spitting out bad guys. And here we go. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Williams. You disposed of my false children. Already done with phase one. Apparently, when she's changing phases, you can just keep now, shooting. Please do not worry, the little rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with two. No so darkness yet. Fuck! Damn it! I'm not letting you get away. Oh, wish, wish, wish. Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in mind. Yeah, so using the flashbang there really does help. Because then you just have I to think find I, it. I think I know why that happened. Dang, because my so ammo capacity was, was too high. I was supposed to reload a little bit earlier so I could, I would have a full mag to skip right through the darkness phase. That oh, was the you. entire fight? Are you serious? <laughs> Bro, what? Is this ought to be world record. Skipping cutscene, skipping cutscene. Holy shit, a 37, nice. <laughs> Wow, dude. Uh, 
Wow, so this belt. is what the game is timed off of right here. <sighs> That's real. I forgot that the game had an actual time. I mean, yeah, minus itself. four minutes, so what do you expect? Huh. Wow, that's insane. I, Dude, that, that's really cool that the game will t actually time it for you. You can do splits if you want, but this is like what your actual game time is. Minutes. So that way it's like, you know, that's a, that's crazy. Actually, the HD is not as low as I thought it would be. Because my other one was a 141. Oh, I guess I had a lot of pauses in there. In terms of an RTA PV, it was huge as well. So the pauses take And time. I lost 44 seconds to Lady Dimitri's go. Yeah, that's that that's I dude. Think. He could have he could have had it. I so so that so that's the you know the no new game plus. That's just the starting a new game and beating it, which is insanely fast. I am really really excited to see how the Lady D fight can be optimized more, so you don't have to worry about it as much. Uh, I'm excited to see how some of these like wall breaches and stuff can be optimized. I'm excited to see more of that FPS trick that he used to phase through that one boss. Um, I think that this game has a lot of potential for more tricks, more glitches, and all in all, literally just like wiping just tens of twenties of thirties of minutes off this thing. So next run we watch, if it if it does get, you know, absolutely slaughtered by a new game plus time where you start out with an infinite ammo pistol type stuff, uh, that will be up next. If you guys did enjoy this one, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and then go make sure you get check out or uh Orchlon. Uh, like and subscribe to his video as well. He's an absolute legend for letting me react to this. And uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching Resident Evil 8, man. Uh, there's 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 a lot more to be done with this game. Literally my game of the year. Uh, I absolutely loved it. So make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.